Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Now this is a bit of a strange one for me, I have to admit, but I really wanted to capture this on my channel because I am still absolutely flabbergasted and shocked by it. And as you've seen on the front sort of face of this clip, when it says, it's a crazy world, I've had my hair cut in a coffee shop, that's exactly what it was. Not my whole hair, just a small amount, but let me tell you all about it because I am still just as shocked and believe you me it was a very strange and something i will not forget for a very very long time this week in fact has been very very strange of course so we've had halloween it's now the first of november to excuse if you can see a few last cobweb decorations and things left love halloween so i always put a lot into it i haven't quite got around to taking those down yet i've actually just been going through my christmas gifts and things which i've bought so far so i'm near enough finished for christmas i've just got a few last things which i need to get um I always love to start early because I have so much to buy um, with my family and it's it's important for me I get that sort of all under wraps and, and really on board with that quite early because I take a lot of pride and I'm quite OCD. <laughs> uh, I obsess a lot with wrapping and things so it's really important. I go all out for Christmas and so does my family so it's a huge occasion. So it's um, that's what I've been doing anyway, getting that sorted. This week's been an absolute nightmare in terms of the fact that my laptop with everything on um, in regards to my channel, in regards to my studying, my work, pictures, about six years worth of pictures, absolutely everything, um, and never had a problem with it once, and it just went. Went to turn it on one evening and just completely went. So I have now purchased myself a new laptop. I've got a new camera, which we are filming on now, so forgive me if I haven't quite got the settings and things right. So Hopefully it looks good, so let me know if it doesn't, but however, <laughs> it's been a bit of a corker, I have to admit, this week, so it's really, it, we had, I finally actually got to enjoy a really nice uh, Halloween evening last night, um, that was really, really nice, absolutely, uh, watched all different horror films, Scream being my absolutely ultimate favourite, um, and yeah, that was really quite cool, I must admit, so I did get to enjoy that after all, um, which was really good, I have to admit. <laughs> um, but here goes what happened. So I went out yesterday. So of course, yesterday was at Halloween. Um, I've got a lot of health problems and things going on at the moment. So I walk around with a crutch at the moment. Um, and that just helps keep my spine more aligned and, and me, uh, I say a little bit more comfortable, but unfortunately these days, it's not really giving me too much relief. But besides the point, to be quite honest with you. So after I finished what I was doing, I was out with my, uh, my brother and we decided to, in fact, I needed to use the bathroom. So we went into a nearby Costa coffee shop and I said why don't we why don't we grab a drink so we did and we were in a queue and of course with social distancing at the moment we had face masks on as everybody does um, and we were in the queue and there was about two people in front of us and there was a lady which joined the queue directly behind me of course <laughs> um, but the only thing which I noticed at this point was social distancing is there for a reason and this lady was very very close up to me and I thought that was really strange and there was it was very loud so it was difficult for me to hear because I have hearing problems as well and of course my big problem at the moment is with face masks um, because I look at people's face a lot to aid what I'm what what's being said to me because of my hearing problem um, so I really feel quite isolated the best way to explain it is I feel like I'm in a box and it's like I'm looking out so I always really have to rely and depend quite heavily on the people who I go out with so um, on this occasion it was my brother so I had to keep turning to him and asking him um, different things what was being said in that um, but here's where it gets really really strange now I thought that the lady come to my side and I thought she said to me nice hair and I kind of, what I do sometimes is smile and nod and, and I said, thank you. And I've done that sometimes and, and I haven't heard right. So I've smiled and nodded in the absolute complete wrong context. And it's made me look a complete fool. But I thought she said to me, nice hair or something along the lines of that. Then I sort of smiled. And I said, thank you. And I, and I, I turned back around and I, and I thought no more of it. Then she pulls out a pair of hair shears, scissors, scissors in front of me. And... I absolutely kid you not, all I can actually think of that I heard, what she said is, can I cut your hair? That And she said other things, but I didn't hear it. I said, I turned to my brother in absolute shock, and I said, what, what did she say? And apparently, and I didn't hear it at all, I was absolutely in shock about it. She didn't actually say that I had nice hair. 
I had a piece of hair at the back where I got my hair brushed. Yesterday I had my hair gelled over, so slicked back those 1920s sort of inspired looks, which I absolutely love. And I had it combed back, but because it's cut into a point at the back, apparently there was a piece of hair about this long, which I had not noticed, and I'd had my hair cut about a week ago now. So, of course, the person who cuts my hair missed it. And this lady was a trained she told me she was a trained hairdresser, or rather she told my brother and he told me afterwards, because I just did not hear her. And um, she actually turned around and said, can I get it? It's really bugging me. And at that point, I didn't know whether or not to be insulted, whether or not to be pleased. Was it a nice gesture? And I said, OK. And I was absolutely stunned in horror, bright red. Don't know what to even think of it now, to be quite honest with you. And this piece of hair, the lady with her hair shears, being she's a hairdresser, in the middle of Costa, snipped and cut the piece of hair away. Where the hair went, I do not know. I had a blazer on, it was not on the blazer. Um, it was not on the floor, so I don't know. But my brother looked as well, so I said, do you want to have, can you just check and see if there is a piece of hair there? And apparently there was indeed um, a piece of hair there which had not been cut. So this lady, we're in the middle of Costa, she's a trained hairdresser apparently, whips out this pair of hair cutting scissors or shears, whatever you want to call it, out of her bag, shows me, I thought she said I had nice hair, no. <laughs> she said, can I cut your hair? You've got a piece of hair what's bugging me. And you know, I'm still absolutely in shock about it. So there I am in Costa in a queue, someone snips the hair. I hate that word crazy, but it's a crazy world, isn't it? Honestly, I'm sure it was a nice thing. And you know, in a couple of weeks, I'm probably going to think it was a nice thing. But right now I can't think, is it negative? Is it positive? I think I'm still in a little bit of shock. It's only hair for goodness sake, I know, but weird, weird, right? Absolutely. So I thought I've, I've got to get this on my channel. Absolutely. I've got to get this on my channel. But cutting hair in a coffee shop? Really? Honestly, um, I still don't know what to think about. I keep going over in my head just that I was stood in a queue. The only thing what I realised, which was strange, was how close she was for a couple of seconds. And then she sort of stepped back. So clearly she was looking at the back of my head. And I always get conscious of people behind me because my hearing aids. Um, wasn't that this time, but I sh <laughs> I absolutely sure could not hear hardly anything in there at all with the sound and everything and the masks really goes against me. And when she, when I thought she said, nice hair, and of course she didn't, There's she, unless it was something along the lines of there's something up with your hair. And <laughs> she was talking to my brother about my own hair, for goodness sake. So um, yeah. I said, yeah, absolutely. When he relayed it back to me, what she was actually saying. Um, yeah. Yeah, I said, "Go, yeah, absolutely. And when she cut it and I turned around, all I could think of just say was, bless you. I said, thank you very much. <laughs> so um, that's that, really. So absolutely. So it's a crazy world, isn't it? I have my hair cut in a coffee shop. <laughs> okay. So I thought I'd let you know that one. Um, it is a bit of a strange one, isn't it? But there we go. Strange things happen every day, don't they? <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now.